Hello students, today we will talk about another numerical of unit number 6. The name of the unit is Kinetics of Particles. And uh, based on that unit, I have already uploaded two files. One is 31.3.20, another is named as 1.4.20. In this particular file 31.3.20, I have uploaded two numericals of unit 6. In this file 1.4.20, I have uploaded the theory of unit number 6. And based on these two files, I have made one video also. Uh, in that video, I have discussed the theory of unit uh, 6 and I have discussed one numerical from this particular file. So, I hope you have watched that video and uh, there was more, one more numerical in this file. So, I am going to discuss that numerical uh, in this video. So, let us read the statement first. The two blocks shown start from rest. So, these two blocks are there. Start from rest. The horizontal plane and the pulley are frictionless. Everywhere there is no friction. And the pulley is assumed to be negligible mass means this pulley M uh, D and this pulley C means M C and M D e are zero. Then find the acceleration of each block. That means we need to find the acceleration of block A. Then we have to find the acceleration of block B and the tension in each chord. Then we have to find the tensions in these chords. Now if you uh, we will observe this diagram given to us. In this diagram, there are three uh, bodies which are in motion. Block A moving towards right, block B moving in downward direction, pulley C moving in downward direction, pulley D is fixed, it is not moving. It means if I have to solve this problem, I have to draw the free body of block A, pulley C and uh, block B because these are in motion. So let us first talk about block A. So the free body of block A is shown here. If you see block A, in this particular, uh, in the free body of this particular block, we have to first represent its weight. So that weight is represented here in downward direction. 100 is the mass multiplied by 9.81. That will become weight. And uh, on this particular block, there will be normal pressure also against that weight. So normal pressure is shown at the bottom. And on this block, there will be one more force acting in this chord towards right that will be called as tension T1. So there will be total three forces acting in the free body of block A. Now you know that uh, these are the forces acting on the block A. We call this as force system and let us call this as summation F. This summation F will be responsible for some motion of block B. As he said that both blocks start from rest. It means this particular system is responsible for the movement of block A towards right. So this particular system can be equivalent to block resting on its surface and we can show acceleration vector attached to its CG towards right. So this system is equivalent to MA. So I can call this these two diagrams as summation F is equal to MA. It means for this block, first equation which is applicable is that block is moving towards right. It means I can say summation fx is equal to maaa. So summation f fx is can't be equal to zero because there is acceleration of block a towards right. So let us use this equation first. How many forces acting in x direction? Only one, t1. So ma is given to us 100 kilogram. So that value is placed here. aa is unknown to us. Now you see this is only mass so don't multiply it by 9.81 so we have written only 100 kg. So we got our first equation which is of tension T1 in terms of acceleration AA. Now observe the block again. In this block its motion is happening only in x direction. There is no motion of the block in y direction. So for this block we can use another equation that is summation Fy is equal to 0 because those forces y direction forces have no effect regarding its motion along y direction. So that will be equal to zero. So two forces acting in y direction. This is positive. This is negative. So we'll say n minus 100 into 9.81. So over here n uh, is equal to directly 9.81 in multiply by 100 taken on the other side of the equation. So directly we got the answer of pressure n is equal to 981 Newton. Okay, so we are done with the free body of block A. Let us talk about the free body of block B. If you observe this particular block in the diagram, then this block will have two forces acting on it. First is its weight acting in downward direction, then the tension in this chord. So its free body is shown here. So block B is shown. First its weight, its weight is acting in downward direction, 300 into 9.81 and tension T2 is acting in upward direction. 
now this particular system of forces will be equivalent to the acceleration of block b in downward direction so this system is shown equivalent to uh, acceleration vector attached to its mass so summation f y is equal to m b a b so this equation is applicable to block b so it is written here summation f y is equal to m b a b so how many y direction forces this is positive this is negative so 300 multiply 9.81 minus t2 is equal to m b a b m b is 300 kilograms so it is written here so we get second equation that is of tension t2 in terms of a b 2940 minus 150 a b okay so we are done with the free body of block b uh, as well so let us talk about the free body of the pulley c now if you observe this part of the diagram you will find that this pulley c has three cords attached to it one in downward direction two in upward direction so this particular system its free body is shown here so on pulley c only three forces are acting one is t2 tension t2 acting in downward direction then two tensions t1 acting in upward direction now you see over here the pulley c is in motion it is in downward direction it is moving in downward direction it means for it i should write summation f y is equal to m c a c but over here what he is saying he is saying pulley is assumed to be of negligible mass that means m c is equal to zero it means final system will reduce to summation f y equal to zero so that is why this system is shown equivalent to zero here so let us apply the equations on this system only one equation is applicable that is summation f y equal to zero so earlier uh, first of all we will write summation f y is equal to m c a c but then we will say pulley is of negligible mass so this system will be equivalent to summation f y equal to zero so how many y direction forces t2 positive these two negative so we have written t2 minus 2 t1 equal to zero now you see we got third equation in this equation two variables are there t2 and t1 these two variables we have already uh, we have found the equation related to these two variables so put value of t1 from here that is 100 a a put value of t2 from here that is 2940 minus 150 a b so this is only one equation but in that equation there will be two variables a a a a a and a b it means in order to solve this problem after putting the value of t2 and t1 we have to find relation between a a and a b so that we can replace one with the other so that in this equation there should be only one variable so let us first find the relation between acceleration of block a and acceleration of block b let us come back to our main diagram now observe this particular mechanism from this mechanism you will find that if x a is the displacement of block a towards right then because of this mechanism block b will move only half uh, half of the dead displacement suppose block a is moved by one unit towards right then that one unit will be divided around this pulley and block b will move only half unit towards downward direction so i can say if displacement of block b is labeled as xb then that will be equal to half the displacement of block a because of this particular mechanism so we will use this relation now so this relation is written here so if i different take the derivative of this equation i will get acceleration of block b a b equal to half of acceleration of block a so we have developed one relation between a a and a a b what is that relation that acceleration of block b is half the acceleration of block a so when you will put value of t2 from here put value of a b equal to half a then put value of t1 from here so you will find this equation will be only in terms of a a so when you will solve this equation you will get your first answer a a is equal to 8.40 so after getting this answer put this value in this equation you will get value of a b then put value of a a and a b in these two equations you will get value of t1 and t2 I hope this particular uh, numerical is clear to you. If you still have any doubt, you can uh, uh, make your query through the app. Thank you very much.